Hi guys, welcome you all. Today our topic is if we want to create uh, automation or a script for uh, creating a shared parameter inside a family so that that shared parameters can be converted into the family parameter afterwards. If we have some parameters that are stored in an uh, Excel file, we take that uh, information from that Excel file and we convert them directly into the shared parameters so that we don't have to do the repetitive work again and again of adding a single single shared parameters manually so let's get started we are inside a uh, another bit environment now and uh, we have played some place some asset card reader that's belong to uh, security devices uh, if you do uh, s click essay here and see there are 17 asset card reader we have already placed inside this rabbit file and we are going to create a shared parameter for this asset now select any family which you want to create the shared parameter go to the edit file okay. now go on the left upper corner here the family types are there here you can see the family parameters whether it's instance or type parameter or shared parameter or non-shared parameter project parameter you can see family parameter you can see it here okay there are no parameter here now some constant are there dimensional parameters defaults ifc parameters identity default parameters are there so let's get started now uh, we we are going to add a, a text parameter text shared parameters and uh, for that just go to the dynamo here first open the dynamo okay simultaneously we go to the excel file okay create a new excel and do that parameter here for example a, a set number is one parameter name another is menu factual another is date of date of placement date of expiry now we just added here four parameter but we can add multiple parameter even 100 200 parameter at once a single family we think that shared file and that shared parameter we later on can convert to the uh, family parameters with the help of another automation script but we are not taking that automation script here in this video we will take uh, the automation script in the next video okay now this video is just for creating a multiple shared parameter file with the help of an excel okay so just add here in the first column the asset parameters names here go to the file save as go to the location on your pc okay let's do it on desktop only for the time being so create one folder first and name it as a root this is just as i don't have any uh, folder on uh, my desktop so i created this folder you can save it anywhere and you can use that excel this is for what's that doing? now this file will glue this one okay now we are in the family and we open a uh, dynamo there inside the family just create here new now here we have to search for a shared parameter create a node as create shared parameter okay so here we have to this script will take uh, this node will take uh, some another inputs uh, this inputs and uh, let's create the shared parameter uh, with the help of this input so now what we have to do a parameter name so this parameter name we are going to take from the excel so we just find out some input tab file path here 
and file from path replace this for timing here we will use excel import excel this is a file what is our ship name that is written the server ship name is copied from here paste it here take a boolean value we have to input all things as a string and we don't want to show the excel that should be false okay now we go to the browser and select your excel file okay first you have to close excel okay now let's check in the parameter here okay What you have to do here one more thing you have to transpose it transpose the data first take the transpose node and transpose the data now we'll get all your asset parameter in the list zero because it's in the column zero okay and you have to take the list zero from this transpose node here get Get item at index node. Let's give here the index zero. That's it. Now we we'll get the list for the asset. And this is our parameters. So we'll guess this parameter means parameter. So what is the group of the parameter? Now if you go here and you create any shared parameter here, you have to create a group. You have to create a shared parameter file, you have to create a group. So that's what we have to do. This first what you have to do. You have to do the parameter name here so group name here so group name should this is a security devices so i will just do security as a group name here and now now we have to search like what is the spec type here maybe we don't know what is the spec type uh, meaning so just uh, type spec type here okay spec types okay here you can get the spec types that means what type of the parameter is is area parameter airflow parameter or it's just a text parameter we keep it to a text parameter now what is the group type the group type for parameters like here you can get the group types it's, it's a text parameter spec type is also text or you can uh, that's a text too here also a text group and the parameter instance is instant parameter you want to add or but we have to give it here but it's not of any use to us now category list you have to give the category here category for which we have to create the parameter just type a category in the search bar and you will display this categories uh, nodes here you just select a category selection here and in that just select which category you want to add this uh, security devices so just uh, so you can select your security devices here okay now all things are set you just have to unfreeze this it's already done it's an automatic mode and you go here the shared parameter file there are some errors here that's why it's not created oh, you see here what the error is showing no shared parameter file found okay so we have to create shared parameter file first so go to here shared parameter we'll create shared parameter file we will save it on our desktop only in the Revit automation and we'll give it a name asset parameters okay or we can do security 
save it create one group here which group we have given in our dynamo that is our security group or you can copy it from here and paste it here just copy it control c go to the revit paste it new parameter group okay okay now we create a shared parameter file at this location with a name with a name as security asset parameter dot text and we have created one new parameter group here as a security in this parameter group uh, the password parameter created will be stored here okay just give one okay go to here now just uh, as we have to rerun it we'll make it a manual and rerun it once more okay just remove this anything run it and run it once more okay go to the share parameter and you can see in the security group over the parameters which we have given the excel are created so you can go here and uh, you can see the property is a common discipline as a text group like i we have given here the text parameter okay now we have created the shared parameter shared parameter directly from the uh, excel and uh, taking their values also adding their values also in the rivet family so that can be seen in our rivet project after inserting or loading that family that is covered in our next grid. That's all for this video. Thank you.